what's going on guys welcome back to RC Voodoo in this video we're going to take the uh, 20 millimeter hex spacers and widen the wheelbase on this I'm going to turn this into a civilian Jeep so these are the the wheels and tires off my SCX 10 3 and uh, I want to get them out just a little further because on full lock uh, it's hitting the inside there just a little bit and I want to bring them out just a little and uh, this is a good way to do it. I had a set of Wraith axles. I was debating putting on here, but it was just too wide and I'd have to modify the axles when 20 millimeter is what I chose. You can get these in all different sizes. And um, this is, uh, I think, the perfect size for this. I wanted the wheels out just a little, but not way out. So I think this will work out just fine. So seen a lot of people asking about these um, they've been around forever probably tons of videos on these but it's very simple to do just uh, take off your tire and your hex put this on in place of your hex it comes with the locking nut and a pin I suggest using these pins instead of your leaving your stock pins on there because some of them are just a little different size get the tire off here okay once you get the tire off go ahead and pull your hex off take out the old pin because it is just a little smaller than what comes with the new one take your new pin slide it in Take your hex adapter, make sure you put that side so it catches on the pin. Okay, some of these rims, the hole in the middle will not be big enough for the lug bolt that you get. So it's very easy just to get a drill bit. open that up just a little you can do this with uh there we go you can do that with plastic or metal rims i've done it with both in the past it's no problem um and it don't hurt anything you're not going to hollow it out too much and it not grab good because the, the grabbing is actually done with the with the hex so get our extension up in there and you screw it on. Right. I cannot find my hex driver, so we're gonna use a socket. Don't have to go crazy, but just make sure they're good and tight. And it's that simple. I will do the back and then give you um, give you a shot of what it looked like with the regular spacing compared to the uh, the 20 millimeter extension. So before we finish, I want to give a shout out to Riff Raffs RC RC Fun for Everyone, and he sends a note with the stickers that says. Hi, Daniel. Here are the stickers I wanted to send you. I hope you like them. Thanks for always being so cool and nice to me. Love your channel. Keep up the great work. Best wishes always. Bob Hip. Riff. So, we are going to add Riff Raff RC to the sticker board. So, let me get this out of the way. I think we'll put him right over here under the crawler comb. So there we go. Riff Raff RC, you are now on the sticker board. All right, let's get back to this Jeep. 
Okay, we've got that all done, and you will see, I'll put up here on the left, you will see the um, what it looks like with the extensions on there. You can see there's just a little bit of tire stick over, um, probably close to half the tire. And before, it was basically flush with the, uh, with the fender wells, but... I think this uh, this is going to give me the steering clearance I need. Super easy to do. It's not that complicated. I saw some people asking about it on a Facebook group and just uh, realized that some people has never, never done these before. Now, there are different kinds, so but these are just cheap ones you get on Amazon, I think, for like less than 10 bucks you get all four with uh, the pins and the and the lug nut so super super easy uh like i said it's nothing that anybody that can take a tire off and put one back on can do this so that's going to do it for this one guys i'm ready to get this out on the trail and get some video so until next time take care